Welcome to another X-ray University video. Today we're going to look at the G1, the brand new AR glasses from a company called Even Reality. So over the weekend we got this brand new G1 AR glasses from Even Reality, and we've been using it. I've been using it, and uh, I don't know mixed feelings. I really wanted to love this, right, because it has a lot of cool features. So the head-on display that you see on the lens of your glasses, you can wear them as a regular. You know how they look rubber block. Very wearers Waldoish. Yeah, so Broccoli Rob has some issues with the aesthetics of the glasses, but I kind of like it. You know, they look kind of cool. It's well built. Kind of feels like uh, it's not really 3D printed, but similar to it. It has some cool features like uh, there's a teleprompter feature. So as you are giving a speech, for example, you can have a typed test that rolls in front of your eyes as you are giving that uh, speech and the glasses listen to you and then automatically scroll up the text as you go. That's kind of cool, right? The couple of features that I was very interested in in learning more about it, and that's what I tested quite a bit, was the translation. So I'm talking to Broccoli Rob, for example, who can speak a different language, and he talks to me in Portuguese or Spanish. The, the, the AR, what's called even AI, would then recognize the speech and then project on in front of my eyes the translation in whatever language I wanted. Well, that doesn't really work. It's really slow. So it doesn't really really allow for a conversation, right? So I'll say something to Broccoli Rob and a few seconds later, I'll get the translation back. You have the uh, Ray-Bans, right? The AR glasses. And I can tell you're not wearing them. So how do you like them? They're okay. I mean, the only thing I don't really like so much is that you're not really able to adjust them at all. Kind of have to just try them on and hope that, you know, whatever specs they, they decided, yeah, yeah. they're going to fit your head. and. Yeah. you know, not really fall down so much. And yeah, and again, there's a lot of AR glasses available in the market now. Every other company is launching a new one. I really like this idea. I like that you can wear this, you know, every day. That information will be seamlessly integrated into your life. I really love that concept, that idea, right? Execution is not there yet. And it's the first version, so we kind of understand that's, you know. Uh, some of the issues, so we talk about the translation, it takes forever. So it takes a long time. It doesn't, you can't really have a conversation with someone and have them automatically translated in front of your eyes. The other feature that wasn't super excited, I was excited about, but the execution wasn't there, is the, uh, the direction. So you can set directions, and I was trying to walk outside. The issue is that with the sunlight, you can't see the display in front of you. It gets overwhelmed by, so it doesn't have enough brightness to overcome the sun. So that feature, maybe a night it works, you know, if you're walking on the streets at night, and it will project the walking dis uh, directions. I wasn't able to get the driving directions projected on these AR glasses. Impressive technology, they impact a lot into this uh, unit. Uh, they have these two prongs here on the back, Those, that's where the battery is, and uh, the Bluetooth interface to your phone. It's impressive they were able to get those two Bluetooth uh, transceivers to be synchronized so that information on the left eye, information on the right eye is exactly the same or very close so that your brain doesn't see that, um, that they were they're out of sync. So, on that one, it didn't have any issues. It also has uh, the ability to just uh, look up and, uh, and then have a dashboard shown. Uh, there's messages that you can see on, your gog on the glasses. So quite a few different features that it has. Uh, in a way, I wish Apple would have this instead of Vision Pro because I think this is a useful you know, device. Vision Pro is really something you're gonna wear every day. I don't think anyone, I don't know anyone who does, but, <laughs> but uh, so I think that, you know, a device like this that you can actually wear, like this is my, these are my regular glasses, right? My dumb, gla dumb glasses, if you will. Uh, this would be kind of cool to have. You can get your messages, you can get directions, everything else uh, right here. So anyway, uh, this is Creative Electron. We are the X-ray people. So we are going to do a teardown of this device using X-ray and computer tomography. So check this out. There's a lot of electronics packed in a very small space in this uh, even reality G1 AR glasses. Uh, so let's look at the uh, unit right here in the corner that sits uh, on your temple, both on left and right, they are uh, uh, pretty much the same. So this is a 2D X-ray, right? So you can see uh, the uh, arm of the, of the glasses and some other features inside to make this very complex uh, device. Uh, but why bother with 2D if you have 3D, right? Let's act 
add an extra dimension and look how cool this is. So this is the computer tomography, the CT of the uh, G1 uh, uh, AR glasses from even reality. So he, right here on the left, these are the lenses. So you're looking at uh, the, right at the corner of the glasses. And uh, one thing that I want to show you right here initially is this flexible circuit. So this flexible circuit here brings power, brings data from uh, the end of the arm, where the battery is and where the Bluetooth interface is, uh, to uh, the projector right here. So this on, that's located right above your temple. So uh, this is the projector, uh, and you can see the lens in here that carries uh, so this is a projector with uh, micro LEDs and those micro LEDs make that image uh, that's carried into you know, the, those lenses using uh, waveguides. So pretty straight, it's not new technology, but it's kind of neat how they integrate it all in this uh, AR glasses. So uh, those, the, the projector right here, micro LEDs, the lens, and then the waveguides bring this image uh, and it gets projected and you can see that display as if it was maybe five feet from your face and it works really well. Uh, there's uh, the other thing to note here in the corner is uh, the little microphone uh, right here. So this is a MAMS microphone that uh, you can see the little hole where uh, your voice uh, is carried into the device. And so that microphone is uh, right here. You can see the microphone right there. So the microphone is pointing down, right? So if you're wearing the glasses, the, your voice is coming up this way. And with that, that's how, for example, the teleprompter knows where you are and carries um, moving uh, the text forward uh, as we are talking. So pretty straightforward, beautiful packaging. Uh, there are no uh, screws here. It's, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the arm of the, uh, of the glasses it rolls with a, a spring-loaded uh, bar into the, the support structure to give you that click oh, a hinge feeling. Oh, hingeless design. It's a hingeless design. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. And you can see the little screws, the micro screws that keep them together. So very, very cool. Uh, really not a lot of repairability available. You can't really replace the battery very easily. I don't know, you very likely will have to destroy it uh, to get the batteries. But considering you change uh, we we'll have to. You can probably just replace the lenses every year or every two years. But with this guy, once the battery is gone, you probably need to buy a new one. So nice, uh, nice execution from a packaging perspective, uh, but not. I don't think from a software perspective we're there yet. Again, it's the first uh, of its generation for even realities. I look forward to seeing the new iterations of this uh, design and how it's going to evolve and how it's gonna get better and better at integrating these notifications and everything else into our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. That's how you know you enjoy what we're doing here, doing uh, computer tomography, 3D X-ray imaging, 2D X-ray imaging. And if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see 3D scanned, let us know. We'll be happy to put it and make a video about it. Thanks for watching.